Hey everybody, it is Matthew of Mr. Domestic, where we spread joy and positivity through sewing and fabric play. Now this video is all about this awesome sauce, like product that I love, it's awesome. Look at this, like it's silicone, it's got fabric in it, it's a mitt, it's not gonna burn your hands. This is called the Hot Stuff oven mitt. If you haven't heard of this, it's amazing. It's by Lisa of Around the Bobbin. She's got a pattern in her packaging and of course I emailed her, got permission, then chatted about what this tutorial is going to be all about. So I am going to give you the tips and tricks that I came up with when I sewed one and now I'm going to sew the partner. And a funny like sidebar story about this is whenever I was at Spring Quilt Market last year, what's fall, so it was this year, that oh I can't even remember what their names are but they were lovely, they were Canadian, there was a blonde gentleman and two female gentlemen. They ran over to me whenever they met Lisa and found these. They came to my booth and they were like, oh my gosh, Matthew, Mr. Domestic, you have got to put your fabric in these. So thank you, whoever you are. If you know who they are, let me know because I'm going to link them down below because I want them to have credit for this because without them, I wouldn't have known about this cool product and you wouldn't have either. So. I'm going to walk you through the pattern and it's definitely one of those patterns where if you don't quite get it you're going to like get frustrated and stuff like that. <laughs> so I have gotten through all of the frustrating stuff and I'm going to show you my tips and I'm going to let you know this is not one of those projects you want to rush through. You definitely want to follow the steps. So if that's what you're here for before we get into the content, anytime you're enjoying this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get ready to have some fun together. So the pattern is really neato. The steps are really good. Some of them took me a while and maneuvering my sewing machine was pretty, it was kind of a pain. Felicia was kind of acting up, but it's really a simple project that I'm not going to show you how to cut because <laughs> you know how to cut, <laughs> but this is the inside part that's going to go in here, right? And then this is the band. So this will attach to this and I'm going to walk you through how I did that and some tips that I learned. And then this I've already quilted and if you miss this in the instructions, it says to go ahead and quilt your lining fabric and I just did a linear thing with some batting and that's what this is. And from here, you're going to cut out the lining. And these are the three different parts. I've already cut out this template C and template A, the hot stuff of a mitt, and that's what these parts are. And so now, this is the hot stuff of a mitt lining insert. So what I'm going to do with this, and hopefully this fits. <laughs> when I measured it, it fit perfectly. So hopefully, ooh, let me turn it around. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Just enough. Oh, so I need something heavy to put on here. Let me just use that and then cut. So this is your lining. So you have your two lining pieces cut out and they're a mirror image, right? And then your two outside, your inside outside. And this is a rayon from my Aura collection. I just put some interfacing on it because I wanted to use it because I thought it was fire. And then this is this part. So now what I'm going to do in the pattern, and you definitely need this pattern because you can't do it without it. Um, I'm going to sew these two together and then sew these two together and show you how I attach this to this. For this part, everything is going to be right sides together and make sure to back stitch. I'm gonna say this a couple times because this is something that I didn't do and I wish that I would have because parts of my mitt ended up looking janky. So I'm gonna avoid that here. And in the pattern it says to sew it at a quarter inch. So that's what I'm going to do here. Okay, and I used a denim needle in the one that I did earlier, but I removed it for the video because it's loud and it makes my um, my camera shake and there's always someone that makes a comment about my camera shaking in my videos. 
And this is something that I did just because for some reason it eats up this part. I don't know if it's because this is a strike off fabric or what, but then I just go ahead and I do it this way. So I don't have to worry about it eating up nothing. Okay. Back stitched again. I back stitched again. And I'm gonna repeat that ad nauseum. And if anyone makes this and does not backstitch, I have told you, so it's not my fault. <laughs> Do this at a quarter inch. The backstitch is already set up. Let me speed this up, Felicia. You're going kind of slow. Yeah, and once again, this is not something you wanna rush because there aren't very many seams in this, but it gets very clunky once you put the silicone mitt into the mix. Okay. So this is done, and now I'm gonna do the same thing all the way around the mitt, and I'm not gonna do that in real time. <laughs> but just make sure to backstitch right here. And yeah, I did not clip because I didn't want to. And I can work around the curves, but this might be a place for you to, to clip if you don't wanna mess with it, so. So now I have these. These are the three things you need for now. And if you've never sewn a curve before that you're gonna turn right side out because we're going to do that with this, what you do is you snip around the curve, like some V's like that, and maybe do like, I don't know, six on each curve. These scissors are mad at me. And you don't want to cut that thread because that'll just mess it all up. So you wanna keep that thread intact, get as close to the thread as you can, and then it's not gonna be an issue or create like puckers or whatever, whenever you go around. And then it doesn't say to do this, but I would go ahead and snip this. And then some more here and I'll fast forward. Okay, so now this is going to go right side out and it says to press this, but well, my iron's not hot enough, so whatever. <laughs> so you take this, right? And this is right side out. And then you stick this inside. And this makes the ooh la la. It definitely like tames and dims whatever fabric is on the inside, but you can still see it and it's still like, I love it. And it says in the instructions, it is supposed to extend one eighth of an inch right here. And then this, 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 make sure of all pieces, this is the one that you backstitched. And then this goes right here. And I'm not messing with like opening the seams or any of that jazz. Cause I don't want to. So there's some time saving for you. <laughs> okay, so there we go. See how that lines up there? Line this up with the silicone part. And this is where I'm going to use clips. I'm gonna start by clipping the seams like this to make sure that they are in alignment. And when I made my first one, I used a walking foot, and for this one, I'm not going to. So I'm gonna get some more clips, clip all the way around, and now we're over to Felicia. Okay, so mine, this part, like if you remove this, and if it's able to fit over this on yours, then do that. Mine, it's too um, wide. What is this called? I don't know. If you know the name of what that's called, then put it in the comments below. So um, it says to base, so I'm increasing the stitch length to five, and this is where I'm gonna slow it down and just get it in there. And this is why I didn't use my walking foot because it just got too clunky right here. And essentially you just wanna get it in there and it says to do it at like an eighth of an inch. Oh, I'm gonna go that slow. <laughs> and then go all the way around. So I'm gonna do that now, fast forward, and then come back. Okay, so I've sewn all the way around. And just like the pattern says, oh yeah, you are sewing through that silicone. It is neat. And if you have a sharp needle, it should go through, no problem. This was a regular needle and it went through. So next, there is this little, if you can see it, this little ridge right here and you are going to sew right here if you can eyeball it go for it I'm using chalk 
just to get right there underneath it. It's gonna make it look super duper clean. Okay, so now the stitch length is back to normal. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna stitch it close. <laughs> okay, so now so that I can see that ridge and feel that ridge, I flipped it back this way and I just make sure that the thing underneath is out of the way and um, I just stitch. Okay, now I'm gonna stitch on that line. I'll fast forward so you don't have to see it in real time. Okay, so now this is done and um, there's a part that like I didn't get to the ridge and so I sewed it again. But this definitely like is less like ratchet than the other one. And so pull this out. And if there are parts where this doesn't get to the lip, it says to do it over. But I'm gonna top stitch that right now, so I'm not even worried about it. Oh, see, this looks so much better than my other one. Okay, let me just show you this one so you can like clock it. See, and this is because I backstitch, backstitch. This one I did not backstitch. Can you see it? Like that, how there's a gap there, and there's a gap there. Um, this one, there's no gap. So yeah, that is what to do, backstitch, backstitch. And same situation here, like I, well, I wish that it would fit around here. It's just a little bit too small. So I'm just gonna maneuver this like this and top stitch this and then go to town right here. Mm. It's probably cleaner if you um, start this at the seam, but I didn't do that. <laughs> and just go all the way around, I'll fast forward. Okay, now I have top stitched all the way around and even in fast forward, I'm sure you could see that it was a hot mess. And I just hope that you're able to remove this and it'll fit all the way around because that'll make it much cleaner. But this is good to go. Now press this. I'm going to sew this together and then, yay! Okay, so for this, let me speed it up. It's the same thing as the other one. And you just stitch it at a quarter of an inch. I'll fast forward so you don't have to see it. Okay, I brought this over here for just a hot minute because I couldn't like, see it there. So there's this and this. You don't have to trim this or anything. And you just stick this in here. And it's going to line up perfectly. It says to open the seams and stuff, but once again, I didn't mess with that. <laughs> here and here. There we go. See, see how it matches up perfectly? Way to go pattern for Miss. And then it says to base this at an eighth of an inch before you put on the binding. Okay, so now we are in the home stretch. So it said with the binding to fold it in half. And let me thread my machine. Ooh, the magic of Felicia. So fold it in half, press it, and then match that fold. And then sew this at a quarter of an inch. Oh, I'm afraid it's gonna eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Ah, it didn't need it. Yay! Okay, once again, back stitch. <laughs> and then you refold it. Like this. And now the binding is good to go. Once I can fold it. <laughs> Yay! Ta da! Ta da! So if you've never bound before, I have a tutorial on machine binding made easy. And that would probably be how I would do this. I would sew it on the inside and then flip it over to the outside and then stitch it. But since I want this one to look the same, I'm going to go ahead and do it how it says in the instructions. So all of this lines up. So match this one seam here. Let me see if you can see it. Blah, blah. These seams, seam, seam, seam. Just like to match all seams. Yeah, it's bulk, but just 
just match them and definitely clip it right there. And then this other one, wherever it lies naturally, clip it. Right, that finds the natural halfway point. So I'm gonna clip all those layers together right here. And then there's a slight curve on the mitt. So you want to capture the curve. So clip the center here and clip the center here. Like this. And it says to do it at a quarter of an inch, but I did it a little bit of more than a quarter of an inch just so that it was a, a meteor binding and start it in the center. And then now I'm going to stitch. Go all the way around, just making sure that it lines up to the curve. If you click those four spots, it should have lined up naturally. It just doesn't hurt to double check it. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to do is machine bind this. It says to like hand stitch it on the inside. I'm just not about that life. So I'm going to go ahead and bind it how I bind it. So this is where my trusty glue comes in and I'm going to glue this and I'm gluing it on this side of the stitch right here. And then I'm gonna fold this over and why I can do it this way is because this right here, the inside lip is longer than where the outside is. So the stitch will catch it. And I'm heat setting it with my wireless black and thicker iron. And then I'll go ahead and do this other side. Glue. Like this. This just makes it so much easier whenever I'm stitching to use glue. I love glue anywhere that I can. It's my favorite sewing notion. Then heat set it, high heat, high steam. Get that glue working. And now I'm gonna do the two seams and I'll fast forward it, you know, we'll see it in real time. So now all I have left to do is to top stitch this and see how this right here is more narrow than this. It's totally gonna catch it. And just edge stitch this. You can even stitch in the ditch if you don't want the stitch visible. I just want it visible. Boom, boom, boom. And then go all the way around. And I'm going to fast forward so you don't have to see it. And then whenever I see y'all again, I'm gonna have two. So yay! These are super cool. I love silicone. What's it called? What's this called? Uh, oven mitt. <laughs> because it doesn't burn, it's good to grip, it's lovely, and it's got some zhuzh in it with my fabrics. I am really grateful for learning about this project and I hope you all enjoyed it as well. And if there are any other innovative and novel products that you know of, then put them in the description because I want to know about it and maybe I can share it with everyone else. So if you enjoyed this video, got a laugh or a tip or a trick, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Keep it positive y'all. Mr. Domestic out. <laughs>